Hey guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Relax with RimWorld, episode 7. This series is really starting to get along, and I just noticed something when Leon was harvesting those potatoes, he actually failed a few times. Um, that's cool. I like that. It makes it a little bit harder. It's not a guarantee that we're going to get food every time. I'm guessing some of the food could wither, or even, you know, he might just not be harvesting it right. He might have made a few mistakes along the way and kind of ruined them. But I'm good with that. I am more than okay with that. These pumpkins grow really fast. They're already at 100% growth. The potatoes take ages, but these pumpkins are already grown. And same with the corn. Oh no, 20%, growth rate 100%, uh, 55, oh, but, I mean these are growing fast though, but uh, I thought if they're grown already, that's amazing. Coal is working hard, that's good to see, Padilla is feeling a little bit better, I hope, mm, stressed but not ready to break, which is good. The infection, which is major, has is untreated now, oh shit, we're going to have to waste more bloody medicine on this guy. Can you treat him? Thank you. She was already on it. Um, I don't think she was even used a med pack then. So I think maybe she's just using water or something to clean it. Which is cool. We do have a few meals being made, which is nice. It's so much cleaner in here. It makes such a difference. And I guess I can, I kind of can see the smooth just difference so this is all smooth stone that Logan smoothed and this is uh, this hasn't been smoothed yet I love the uh, I love the color that you get from the torches quite nice another meal that's good we have struck compacted steel well that's handy we need to be getting steel out of these uh, rooms that we're mining out, which is sweet. I think putting the cleaning as a priority above hauling was a good idea, um, just because once cleaning's done, it's just a little bit of maintenance every now and then for him to keep things clean. And it's going to make a big difference to their psyche, that's for sure. What I don't like is this. I need to actually get rid of our home zone there. Because that's, uh, that's a little too much. Yeah, so we we don't want him cleaning up that stuff there. So let's... We've got visitors. Alright. Let's go like this. Because uh, we don't want this stuff to be cleaned. It is a home area. Yep, that's, sh that's for sure. But we don't want him cleaning in there. Yeah. So this is going to be classified as our home area. Although in saying that, I wonder whether or not... Spring has begun. Ah, oh, great. We must have been... We must have started in autumn then. No. Yeah, I mean that would have been... Sorry, that would have been the tail end of winter. Wow, okay. And I thought it was warm. <laughs> Community at the mountain are visiting the colony. Wow, there's a lot of them. This so is the first I've seen of these guys. He's got a pretty good weapon, as do you. Everyone's relatively well armed. Those those hand culverins, I've learnt not to mess with them. Yep, I learned that the hard way. Okay, everyone's getting a little bit hungry. That's okay. We we don't have a lot of meat at the moment, but that's going to be okay because we are bringing in so many of these potatoes. I am thinking that we need to kind of split the rules though, like someone needs to be on cooking, someone needs to be on growing, because um, Leon is having trouble of harvesting, and then as soon as he's harvested, going and cooking a meal, and yeah. Oh, you little bastard. <laughs> wow, okay, you just, uh, yep, yeah, welcome, come on in. Make yourself at home. Logan's straight back to work on the research, which is cool to see. I hope you like the place. Um, if any of you want to stay, you know. Oh, nice. Noah improved the relationship with them just by having a chat. I'm. Um, that's that's cool. 
trying to improve the relationship with Thunder's faction. Worsened. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. It went down a little bit. That's okay. And now she's having another chat with Padilla, who is now neutral. And this infection's major, but um, hopefully we don't have to cut off his leg. He is sick. Yeah. And they're all just having a sleep in the uh, <laughs> in the gathering place. Which, um, this won't be the gathering place forever. I probably will have the actual gathering place a little bit further in. Oh, 16% chance. Not much of a chance of recruiting him as of yet. Um, but there probably will be in time. What are you doing? Hoarding potatoes. Good on you. Um, I would probably like to get these things hauled out as well. So, we are going to do just that. Haul all the things. This is going to fill up very quickly. I might have to expand it. Noah's doing a good job. I'm glad that she's improving the relation there. We've got some more compacted steel. Nice. Coal is going to be lugging that stuff out. We're still doing okay for wood. Okay. Severe illness. Yeah, okay, so he's at risk of death now because of that. I wonder whether or not... Yeah, that infection is extreme now. I wonder whether or not we need to cut off his leg. Oh, his immunity is at 71%, so... Next treatments... Mm. I, I'm going to count this up as a learning experience. I feel like he might be able to beat it. At the same time, we could chop off his leg. Um, yeah. So, he... The immunity is going up, but at the same time, yeah, he is weakened. Um, he's only in a little bit of pain, though, so it's severe illness, but it's possible to consider amputating or replacing infected limbs in order to keep Connors alive. Yeah, I'm going to hope that he's not going to die from that, but I'll, I'll learn from this experience regardless, I think. Those guys are having a good sleep in here. And Logan is getting really close to finishing off researching that. Good old potato salad. Potato with some potato and some more potato. Everyone's sleeping. Padilla is possibly dying. They acknowledge our hospitality. Well, thank you, community at the mountain. Infection extreme. Immunity is up. He's going to get another treatment. This hasn't been going down, which is good. And I suppose Noah's skill has been going up. Or I hope so. Medicine, six. Yeah. Man, see how fast we go through that food. It is pretty quick for him to cook with it though, which is nice. And he does take quite a few before he decides to go back. Alright! Learn the basics of power generation, heating, cooling, to help your colonists survive in this harsh climate. This advancement unlocks research for advanced communications, the steam generator, the wind turbine. Also unlocked are the glassworks, cook stove, and basic items to assist with temperature control. Okay, let's jump back in the research that research screen here, and we can have a look and see what we can make. Basic, we can hide power conduits, basic fuses. Each one is enough to dissipate 2,500 watts. I'm guessing over two standard batteries. Energy pack, mobile battery supply. Outdoor lighting. 10 foot tall lamps to illuminate a large area. Hmm. Cool, but not absolutely necessary. 
brewing, communications, we've got agriculture, power to. We've got medicine. I'm still tempted to go for medicine just so we can get some zeg growing, just because it takes so long to grow. But then at the same time, construction, it's tough to decide what to go for here. Um, it'd be also nice to know how to make basic weapons. Hmm. Then the basic security will allow your colonists to create a manned turret to help fend off those nasty attacks. So a manned turret. Interesting. So we can actually jump in the turret. I'm tempted to go straight for research on medicine. Yep, I think I'm going to do it. Just because the worst thing I can... Although we do have quite a bit of medicine left. Maybe we don't need to do that just yet. No, actually, you know what? We're, we're going we're gonna to go for... We're just going to work our way through nice and slowly. I think um, I think we'll start with construction and then we'll just we'll work through bit by bit. Yeah. But um, I will now have a look and see exactly what we did unlock. So if we have a look underneath power, we should have a few different things. So we do have a battery. We have a steam generator. So, hmm, steam turbine generator that produces electricity requires a hopper filled with wood logs or ethanol for fuel. We do have access to a wind turbine though, which um, requires steel bars. Shit. So, steel bars are obviously something that's processed, um, so we need to figure out how we can make steel bars. So let's have a look underneath resources. We've got hand mill. Um, we've got some other options under lighting now, uh, which is cool. Sun lamp lights an area brightly enough for, for for crops to grow. A simple floor lamp. We need glass to be able to do that though, but that could be quite cool. You can run them down along the side. They look pretty badass. Yellow lamp. Nice. Okay. Uh, we do have some more different joy objects as well. Um, I could look at building some of these just because they don't cost too much to actually make. Um, I guess we need a short bow to, to do that. But, um, yeah. I'm not going to worry too much about anything just right this second. Everyone seems to be doing okay and fine with that. Um, training, interesting. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got a lot more options when it comes to food now. Refrigerated hopper holds resources for use by machines like nutrient paste dispensers. Uses power to maintain. Ah, uh, so it preserves the contents. Interesting. Um, we don't have any nutrient paste dispensers yet. There is a stove top. And attached countertop of preparing meals. Oh, so we might be able to just get rid of the food prep table and just replace it with this. So that's like these two things combined. This is a, a canning station. Shit. And an electric oven. So there's a few different options here. Cook stove seems to probably be the best thing to go for. Although I wonder if we can do glass in the oven there. Let's see. I feel like I'm missing something else. So we've got a few different storage options still as well. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, okay, so we do have quite a few options now. We can do a cooler. Small fan. Vents. Okay, so we could do a refrigeration room now, which is good. I'm, I'm glad to know that. Um, we could still work this as being our kitchen. Have the refrigerator off at the side. Probably will be the easiest thing to do. I'd like to create like a separate little side room for preparation and just have this as like a big eating area. Ideally. Um, but I'm trying to figure out how to make steel bars at the moment. I'm wondering if we can use the oven to do that. Well, I'm guessing the electric oven, the bonus there is that, um... I mean, do these require electricity? Now that, now that I think about it, you know, they, these could require electricity to run. 
like I'm missing something there. Steam generator. Wood logs. Security. I feel like the steel bars are something that I should be able to make, but I don't see anything that I can make them with. I mean, maybe it unlocks those things, but maybe that's, uh, again, another research thing that I need to do. Let's have a look under research. Glassworks. Crafting, construction. Uh, using metal bars. Yep, so we, we, we are going to need to complete that before we have those. Which is a little sucky. I actually wish I knew that before, uh, before I researched that. Because it would have made sense to do that first. Um, real pain in the ass. Um, okay, so we are going to need him to continue researching pretty much as fast as possible to get that up. Um, we can look at, in the meantime, creating a refrigeration area, but I'm more concerned about getting these rooms up and running first. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Okay. Should be able to get a few more meals done soon. Damn. Something Noah is wearing is bad. I'm guessing the quality Oh yeah. Yeah, her shirt is actually Oh although she's she is wearing two shirts. She picked that up off the ground and she just wore it. I should forbid that, actually. I'll leave it forbidden. Yeah, she picked up um Logan's shirt. What the hell just happened? That sounded like someone dying. No idea what that was. It's like as I dropped that and I thought for a second Noah died somehow. No, we seem to be okay. Wait, actually just saw those grow then. Oh! I'm guessing the dog killed the cobra. Nice. Good work, dog. Doing a better job than my dog is. And again, I haven't really tried to tame it yet. More potatoes. Okay, I think we're almost in the part now where we are going to want to start hunting again. Although there still are some more potatoes out there. What are you... Oh no, he did die. Oh, son of a bitch. I didn't want him to die. Damn it. Oh well. We tried. Unfortunately, Padilla was not meant to be. The infection was too much. I'm kind of just glad we didn't waste too much um, medicine on him. Although in saying that, again, that was a lesson. I probably had a chance to... Um, I hate just wore all of his stuff. Just took the stuff straight off a dead man. I suppose he does that anyway. Um, yeah, we probably could have removed his leg. So, I think in the future, if I do get to a point where there is a disease, an infection that's affecting them, and it gets to that point, I think that I will end up um, chopping, rather than trying to trying to keep them alive with the leg intact. I mean, the infection was obviously too severe, the immunity wasn't building up in time. Um, yeah, it's really unfortunate that we lost him. But I'm glad it was him that we learned from, and not one of, uh, not one of our four. We have some cargo pods that have crashed nearby. And you are kidding me. There is a god in Rinworld, then that god is cruel. So poor Padilla just died of an infection and we had some anti antibiotics to drop from the sky. That is uh that that's something. Wow. Jeez. Well, that's that. 
as dawn rises on Dawn Spring Heights. That will end today's episode. Thanks again for joining me. I've been Raikon, you've been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned. <laughs>